Good afternoon, people. Well, well, well. Ooh, what have we got for you today? <laughs> you don't already know what we've got for you today. From the thumbnail, it will tell you we have what once was called by the Americans the King of Beers. What once? When you used to see it at the bars in the mid 90s? Mid 90s, you're like, wow, Bob Wise are on draft. I've got to go to that bar. I remember, as I say to you, travelling from Windsor to Bracknell. Yeah. Which is quite a hike. Well, not that far. It was only about... Didn't mind, I didn't mind it bad back in the day. You didn't mind most beers. <laughs> but, 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 but. Over the years, Budweiser is not kind of... Um, how can I put it? We actually don't mind it, do we? Yeah, but it hasn't well, kept its uh, popularity yeah. or, or its um, more yeah. prestigious status that it once had. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not... It's not really stood the test of time, but for me, that on the machine really wasn't been that bad, has it? Now, obviously, we'll go into that bit in a minute, but obviously, you had the um, controversy with Bud Light. I still haven't got my Bud Light T-shirt. I'm <laughs> trying to get the same one as M&M. But now, for some reason, and a tax bracket, you can talk about tax brackets. You could do a massive video on it if you really wanted to, but the tax bracket, what I don't get, and I'm missing something here, is the tax bracket on 5% to 4.5 the same? Yeah, well, it doesn't it seem don't, like it's making Because you've got to go down to 3.7 or something. I haven't got the, the, the stats up. I haven't got my other phone here. But um, I don't get that. Um, they will say that it's a trend. And yet, this trend in England that they're lowering all these lagers, the ciders, I don't know anyone that wants anything. Like, I don't actually think... I met one person that's in agreement with that, whether it's John Smith, whether it's Foster's, whether it's... Let's face it, a lot of these beers were quite low, weren't they, in alcohol? Anyway, some of the lighter ones, well, yeah, but... but so, it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Some of the breweries, mentioning no names, you know, we can talk about Carlsberg, Marston, but we won't bother, you know. So, it's a trend, you know, hence why Cronenberg's been lowered, and that, let's be honest, they totally knackered. It was only 0.4. They took off it, but obviously they changed something in the recipe because they're so different. As I mentioned on a video prior to this, as you'll know, as a certain reviewer did, that a review I didn't really agree with, but that's each to their own. I get that. That's fair enough of his opinion, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Old sub man, I mean, Captain. Anyway, <laughs> I can't resist it, can I? Yeah. But, okay. right, AB and Bev, for no apparent reason, have just taken something that was one of their staple drinks. When we and first it, was, it was a popular one for them. The it was uh, I mean, one of their best yeah. sellers, I do believe. I remember buying the pack for these at Budweiser, 2018 FIFA World Cup. We absolutely, you know, and back in that day, and that was only seven years ago, mm. you know, Bud was right up there for the 2018 World Cup. I can remember the pack selling out. In them days, a lot of people will be watching this now, wouldn't have owned their machine, but in them days, Bud was right up there with Lowenbrow. Everything. A lot of people have got a short memory on the machines, you know, like with the Stella and everything in that. That's all in most of that one's in people's head, but that's another video. But Bob Weiser delivered, and then it, it got this, especially in beer groups more than anything, didn't it? It got this bad reputation as American crap and everything, and then um, everyone decided all of a sudden this same beer that they loved for many years and years and years they didn't love. That's Things do fall out of fashion, I can understand that. That, that does happen. And you find oh, sometimes they roll back rounds and they come back into fashion. Oh, yeah, we're dropping the ABV. I can't but see this coming back. I was going to say that once you start lowering the um, alcohol in these beers, you really are pushing your luck. Yeah, especially this one. Something yeah. that, if anything, it needed a... They already have a live beer. They've got quite live. So, you know, doing this to this beer doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm sure I'll, if I was talking about it, look at it, I say it looks lighter already, wouldn't you? Look at that. Let's go and get a, that's the one, isn't it, for a screen of it. So, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, that's the end of that video. <laughs> now, that, for me, although the head's all right, I think um, it is a new keg, but I think Sean had had a half out of it. It's been in since um, Saturday night, hasn't it? Yeah, this one, these particular beers, we do like this to be down at a lower temperature. I find that yeah, that's down at two. Um, that's just our opinion, but it, it does look lighter than I would have said 
it did before, but that's maybe just in my head. I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking looks wise, that is looking pretty similar to me. And the head's dying off rather quickly. Yeah, it is. Already, which is not a good sign, is it? There is a really good carbonation. I don't know, that could be the, the nucleated glass. I, I would say so, by the way, that's Yeah, and the way the bubbles up. are going up mm. and up and up. That's good for a glass, you see? Back in them days, 2018, even the glasses were good. <laughs> as well as the beer. Now, I mean, I, I've, I've said a lot about the quality control of certain beers. Now, when you're paying um, top draw, I mean, Hawkston was one of them, that I kind of think that it changed over time when it shouldn't, should it? The quality control on what you're paying should be absolutely spot on, no matter what. Now look at that, that head, literally. That's, that's died off very quickly. Very quickly, which yeah, okay. It might not mean a lot, but if you've got that in a pub and you're talking to your mate for a minute, you're not really gonna be that impressed, are you? But there you go, it's not a pub. I'll let you do the famous smell test. Now we're hearing it with Budweiser. You got a bit of maltiness, didn't you? And you got a, a, bit, a bit zesty. It's a little bit zesty, yeah. Oh no, I'm not supposed to say that word now, are we? Oh yeah, it's not Okay, it's got a little bit of a citrus note to it. Maybe right. that's um, a better terminology. I don't know, just so like our youngest one said, you shouldn't keep saying that, and I thought, because a lot of things <laughs> I shouldn't say that I As you get older, you don't keep up with book. the new what terminology it is. Used. As you get older, you don't care. Yeah, I think maybe that's got something to do with it as well. Yeah, it doesn't smell just like a, it doesn't sound like an average macro, it doesn't no, smell that bad. It doesn't smell that bad. To be honest, but it doesn't smell like anything out of this world. But then it, it never was, as I said, but give it a go. Okay. So point 0.5, now bear in mind, as Michelle tries this, this 4.5 with the point 0.5 difference you get, it still could be 5%, but it also could be as low as 4%. That's the thing now, so you could in effect be drinking something that's literally 0.7, over Bud Light, and if Bud Light was 3.3 but went to 3.8 to its highest that it could be, and this went to its lowest, there's only 0.2 difference in the two. So, is it more of a Bud Light? Oh, blimey. I'll let you go first. <laughs> oh dear, she's going in for number two here, she's going in for number two, yeah, I'll try another one. I did get this keg free because I did the buy one, buy two, get one free. I should be buy one, get one free. Go on, I'll let you take a second sip. Okay, it's not revolting, but it certainly isn't the Budweiser that I like to sit and drink on a warm summer's day. Yeah. This for me has had the guts ripped out of it. Yeah, it's watery. It's. You can tell. A little bit artificial almost in the citrusy taste that's there more so than usual and well, maybe that's because the guts of the other flavors that you usually get in there have been taken away so that's more prominent and that's making it taste more artificial I'm not sure on that um it's not good i'm not impressed that's going to be a slug that keg it's oh. um i'll drop that down as low as you can go yeah in temperature wise and use it as a starting off beer or an earlier beer I can actually we've got Tesco's coming tomorrow at the point of making this video I'd actually like to try the bottle against that because I don't think you're going to get a lot of different I think the bottle's 4.5 or 4.6 oh that's not good um, I'll stick up for perfect draft I love my machines whenever I can but I couldn't tell anyone. I wouldn't even tell my worst enemy. And there's a load of them stellar heads that I absolutely despise of because they talk crap. But I wouldn't even get them to um, to buy this. Oh god, um, this is this is this is poor. It's isn't just it? so disappointing. Why do they do these things? It really does. It. It's not like it upsets you because yeah, there are. There's a lot of different good beers out there that you could buy you don't have to buy this and i would actually advise if you didn't no, it's not worth your money um this is bad but why do it 
Well, what do it? All it's going to do is put people off. It's going to put them off the beers, the machines. It, yeah. Why do There's it? There's nothing to gain. Everything to lose. Um, having been an owner for nine years, there's been some brilliant things. Yeah. I absolutely love more machines. Don't get me wrong. But and there still is. Yeah, there still is. There's, there's still plenty still, at the moment. There's right? still some good selections on there, and because of that, I'm glad that I've done this with you, and I can wholeheartedly tell you not to bother with this particular keg. If that, for me, I've, I've been drinking it again and again, as you can see here. I think you'd be hard pushed um, to differentiate much between Carlin, Carlsberg, and this. I know they've dropped some of them again, so there'll probably be a bit of difference. But that, the, 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 there is that citrus smell there, but there's not a lot of citrus in the taste, is there? The it's taste very fine. The, the citrus kind of taste that I'm getting from that it's is tasting artificial. I'm not going on that so much usually I like a little bit of citrus um, in just, this style of beer but that's just that's a travesty that's all I can say um, I, I, I know when a when a mohu mohu mah, whatever you call it that only went from 5-1 to 4-8 but that wasn't that much different I didn't rate that that much in the first place but if you had a keg of the old 5 bud now and you had that you're going to tell it yeah, you're going to notice a difference, no doubt about it. Not like this, this Stella Brood in Belgium rubbish and the English one was so bad. Those that didn't even compare it and gave this, they, they'd ruined that keg. We actually bought that Stella again. I was going to do that Stella so against that. So if, if that was your feeling on that, really do not go anywhere near this because this is uh, a travesty. Well, a lot of people, this is a travesty. A lot of people weren't that, that keen on the original bud and, um, oh, Jesus, that's that's... That's morally wrong to do that. I remember if you don't get it on a discount and you pay full full price, as Michelle was rightly pointed out, it's going to give you a bad impression of a really good machine. And that is a really good machine. Don't get me wrong, we're meant to be doing Bex against it now. I'm beginning to wonder whether it's even worth it's it's not doing because it. Bex is gonna be Bex on the machine is actually a decent pint. It might enhance the budge, you never know. But that it's that's, not going to stand up against the Bex. Bex is much better. That's wrong. And the Bex is only 4.9. And that proves, you know, yep. you've got to remember, though, the, the simple thing people are going to say here is the Bex is brewed in Germany. That's brewed in Wales. It's still on filter. It's always been brewed in Wales. Everyone forgets that. And yet loads of people love it. You know, just saying. But that, seriously, um, as I said, I wouldn't advise. It's disappointing. I was going to say I'm upset. I'm not upset because there's a lot of good kegs around. They've still got there's still a lot of good beer around to drink. Um, I'm just disappointed they chose to do this because they've made their product inferior. Yeah. For 0.5, I hope it was all worth it. That's all yeah. I can say. Um, <laughs> I'm Nothing more rarely you can add to that, is there? I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely gutted. Um, that was a keg that we'll never buy again. No. No way. No. I'd say I brought a Stella and a um, Lambra, I didn't know, or something. So I got that as the free one. Mm. So that's the only way I can merit it. I had this feeling about that, and I, and like no YouTube person has gone anywhere near this keg. Yeah, that kind of said it. This has been changed for six weeks now. And we had to get it on the deal, wasn't it? Did you get it yeah. free when you bought two others? Yeah. So, so like, that was the reason why we gave it a go, just to let you know what we thought. Full price for the other two to get that for free. So I didn't get it for free, free. But I tell you what, the best thing with that is the five quid that you're going to get back you're on the keg. Skip. Don't bother with that at all. Anyway. But yeah, um, if I was going to rate it, I don't have my scorecard here. I'd actually have to say, I'd have to give that a 2 out of 10. As a, as a real, real poor attempt of something that yeah, I actually it's a, thought... Yeah, it's, it's a 2 or 3 for me. Was decent. Not... Um, I don't think you'll have many more worse kegs on the machine than that. At least with Bud Light, you know what you're getting. You know you it get... is what it is. They're not I... trying to hide it. It's a lighter beer that actually I think probably tastes better than that. Yeah, I think it does. Because <laughs> you know what you're getting when yeah. you're drinking Bud Light. You know you're drinking pea water before you start. Here he's thinking, well, four and a half percent, still halfway decent. I mean, that's the same. You still want a bit of body to same it. Same as Corona. A, a I bit mean, of taste to it. Put yeah. a Corona against that. Corona is way ahead of that. Flavour, everything. 
That could be the one to do. Corona versus it, because Corona's 4.5 and light bodied, and that is seriously light bodied. Mm. Light bodied like it's like bloody water. Okay. Could be the one. I don't know. I can't say no more. I think we've exceeded our time I think there. We have. <laughs> and um, if you got this far, at least you know the truth. Thanks for watching. Bonjour. And, yeah, see you next one. Dear. Oh dear. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I have to have a think there, aren't I? Shit. I've got the Bex out to do against that.